we are almost getting done as this is the third part of the set of questions that you'll be answering in your application form please this session is very important also and it contributes greatly very very greatly to the decision you would get in february so kindly take it serious treat it with all level of seriousness and let's really get this journey successfully completed in this set of questions you are required to respond to the question the third person singular or plural so if you are applying as an individual then you write your name and you use the use she or he if you are applying as a team then you apply you you write the names or you use they also this set of questions have word counts between 200 and 750 to 800 so for some questions you will get 250 characters for some you get 240 for some you get 350 for some you get 750 so depending on the question you would get to you would get a word count which means that you'll have to fall within this word count so you either write exactly the word count or less and I always suggest that you write exactly or almost getting to the maximum. Do not be thinking of the minimum. Question is asking you for your commitment to action. Your, com your commitment to action is your idea or the project that you would want to act on. So the first question is asking you to give us a summary of the commitment to action, either as an individual or a team. And there is a sample response there where you can read and it would guide you as to how you would write the responses so please look at the sample responses and then you you use that to draft your your own response to suit your commitment to action the second question is asking for the issue area so what is the problem what are you addressing how do you want to address it address it so this one has sub session sub questions under it so the first question is what is your problem you would want to address or you are working on so definitely there needs to be a problem before you get a solution there is no way you would create solutions when there are no problems so what is the problem you would want to address let's say the we are we are using waste management now the problem is there's the environment is not clean there are so many ways scattered around littering and everything so what do you want to do you decided to resort to um, embarking engaging in a recycling project or a waste management project so in this situation the problem is the waste and the littering and the environment being unclean so you look at your problem and then you write it please be concise and simple and vital as well do not be writing so many because you have a limited word count and every word counts the second sub question under this question is who is your target population so the first our problem is about waste management our problem is about the environment on cleanliness and its effects on our human on we as human and the environment in general so who is the target population for this project which people would feel the impact and which people would the solution help so in this situation it is going to help every individual as a human it would also help the environment know the specific group population that you'd want to this the project would address so if you are undertaking this project in the Kohua from plains south in the eastern region part of ghana then you would you should state that you are looking at this particular number of people in the Kohua from plains south in the eastern region of ghana so you should be specific and concise please be specific and concise it is very important in this session the third sub question 
is asking what the challenges are what's the challenges the group or the individual will be encounter encountering whilst they implement this project so certainly if you go by our first project then we are going to have problems with people psyching their minds to be getting ready for cleanliness to making the environment clean and all that so you should state the problems that you look forward to encountering as a team or you look forward to encountering as an individual as you embark on this commitment to action journey. Please, you should know that any impact-driven project or activity or idea comes with challenges. There is no way that you, would, you are finding a solution to develop your uh, community and there are no challenges. So please, be realistic, specific, and concise. In answering any of these questions, if you pick any information from any other source, please do well to reference it. Plagiarism is not accepted and you have to be referencing all works and numbers or figures that you pick from any page, website, or any source, please subscribe, please reference them. The third question looks at the action plan. And in this action plan, they would want to know what you'll be doing as part of your project, and then the people that you'd bring on board, and also the timelines. So it also has subsections sub questions beneath it and the first question is asking you to describe the activities you and or your group will be doing as part of implementing this project so what will you be doing if you pick we continue with our initial project it means that we are going to collect waste that is one act activity that we'll be doing we are going to educate the people on the effect of lettering and making the environment unclean. We are going to put measures in place to ensure that we are able to recycle the, the waste that we've collected and so many other activities. So in this section, they are asking that you state the activities that you are going to do as part of implementing the project. The third question has 2,000 characters count so you have up to 2,000 characters please these are not words 2,000 characters so please do well to be concise specific and informative the second sub question under it is asking you to list your strategic partners and what they do so in our initial project we certainly would communicate with Zoom Lion because they're already into it. We communicate with U University of Ghana Recycling Project. So these are key partners that we would bring on board to make sure that they contribute or help us implement this project successfully. So this part of the question is asking you to let the foundation know which people, which people would contribute to making this project successful. Who are they and what will they do? The third sub question is asking you to give a proposed timeline. So, I in in the in the project we are using, we are going to be collecting waste. So, within which period are we going to collect the waste? And within which period are we going to engage our partners? Within which period are we going to recycle them? And within which period are we going to educate the people about the effect of being unclean? So you need to give timelines, even if these timelines are not met. You should have a proposed timelines. You might not have specific, you might not have exact ones, but uh, you should have proposed timelines within which you know, or you and the team knows know that you'll be able to complete this project. Question: The landscape analysis. So. With the project we are using, which is the waste management, so many institutions and 
individuals are engaging in mani waste management projects and all that. So they would want to know how different is what you would want to do from this? How unique and how do you stand out? What, how are your actions going to improve and build on what they've already done? That is what they want to know. And this also has two sub questions under it. The first one is asking you what project or organization currently exists that has similar to your commitment. So with this one, we can talk of the U University of Ghana recycling project. We can also talk about Zoom Lion and all that. But what are we going to do differently that these two institutions or organizations are not doing? And would make us stand out what are we going to do differently that is what they would want to know so tell us there you tell us which people do that and how they do it how is your commitment new or different that takes us to the second sub question beneath the fourth question it is asking you how unique yours is so in the first question first sub question you've told us the institutions that already do engage in this commitment that you'd want to make. But how different is yours from theirs? The second sub question would give you the room to tell them how different yours is from theirs. So please, you need to be innovative. You need to be innovative, concise, and specific. And the fifth question, the fifth question is the impact. So in this session, they would want you to know how impactful is your project? How is it impact driven? How many people is it going to be? Are they going to benefit from this project? And please, with this one, you will have to give us numbers, numerical figures to make your application a little juicy. Yes, give us numerical figures when everybody is saying that I would impact the people, the lives of the people of our families. Then you are telling us that you would, imp by the end of the first phase of the project, you would have impacted 500 people, 500 lives in our families. That is what makes your application different and a little juicy from this. So, this also have two sub, sub questions beneath it. And the first one is saying, Describe your short-term and long-term goals for the for the commitment. So, what do you seek to achieve in three months? What do you seek to achieve in six months? What do you seek to achieve in a year? What do you seek to achieve in two years? What do you seek to achieve in five years? You should tell tell them what you would want to the project would achieve by with a short term, medium term, and then a long term. So you should have short, medium, and long term achievements for the project. And the B, the sub, the sub question, the second sub question says that identify the specific data and metrics you, would, you will analyze, interpret, and report out on as you make your progress towards achieving your goals. So it talks about the numerical, it takes us to the numerical quotes I talk, I, I made mention of early on. So you let us know what are you going to do by the end of the six months, what is going to happen, Re when and what. By the end of the six months, by the end of the year, two years, five years, what is this project going to achieve? Please do not forget the numerical value because it would also contribute, it would make your application juicy, as I said early on, and will take you a step closer to making a successful application. This one has 750 character limits, which means we have a very limited, a, a very limited word count. So you need to be concise and specific. The sixth and last question is asking why you so why you? Why should Clinton Global Initiative University accept you to be part of the 2021 class of CGIU? Why? So here you should tell them 
how unique you are whichever way you will have to do it it is your own way this one you need to have a unique way of telling people about yourself and with this they also have two sub questions and direct and the first one is saying why is the issue you are addressing important to you or the group and the second one is saying what makes you or your group uniquely positioned to solve this problem so why you why you tell us why you why should you be the one selected or why should your team be selected as part of the next badge of CGIU this is it you should let us know how readily you are to develop your community and please do not forget that the subs the question the previous questions that you've answered are linked to are linked and you so here you should tell us how readily you and your team are to making this application you should have a unique way of telling people about yourself and your team so use that way to get yourself enrolled and to get yourself to be part of the 2021 Clinton Global Initiative University. Thank you and please click on the subscription button to subscribe.